Let's cross now to our correspondent, Shona Betachara in southern Turkey. Shona, first, just tell us exactly where you are and what's happening there. Right, I'm in uh, Osmaniye in uh, the uh, southeast, uh, southwest of, of, of Turkey, uh, one of the uh, many, many, many towns and, and cities that has been uh, devastated by this earthquake. Uh, it's, a, it's a town of 180,000 people. And uh, as you can see uh, behind me, uh, the buildings that are still standing, at least for now, there are, are empty. Um, we're seeing more and more uh, tents, uh, humanitarian tents being set up around the city. Um, with every passing uh, day, there are more of them with distributing aid, uh, food, uh, firewood, uh, uh, you know, um, clothing, blankets, etc. Uh, but uh, there's still many, many people uh, sleeping in their cars. Uh, one word on those those uh, miraculous rescues uh, that we're hearing about, they're becoming, as you're saying, uh, fewer and fewer. When the earthquake, uh, the first one, there was there were two actually on, on Monday, uh, when the, when they first happened, we were getting alerts about the number of death on the on the scale of the of the catastrophe uh, that was just unfolding. Now we're getting alerts on people who are being saved from the rubble even now. So uh, as time goes by, what's becoming exceptional is not the catastrophe, it's Itself, but it is surviving it at this point. Well, Shona, we're still in a recovery effort, but there's already been talk about how poor construction contributed to this very high death toll. When we talk about poor construction, what exactly are we talking about? Well, of course, there are the buildings that have collapsed. Uh, that official number is about 6,500. Uh, I suspect that number refers to buildings uh, that are several stories high, because if you take into account all of the houses, the single story, the double story, you know, private homes that also collapsed, uh, the toll is uh, certainly much, much higher. Uh, but as you can see behind me, uh, the set of buildings uh, is uh, is is really damaged. We can see cracks. Uh, you can see uh, uh, parts of the building that have fallen off. And yet these are new buildings. These buildings were built uh, very, very recently. And uh, you can tell, actually, that, they're, that they've only been in use for a very short amount of time. And, uh, and what that means is that they were built uh, in, uh, in a way that was not uh, earthquake proof. Now, the Minister of Urbanization has just dispatched 4,000 experts to the affected areas to determine if the buildings like the ones that are behind me that are now completely evacuated, if they're safe enough uh, for people to go home to. A lot of people sleeping in their cars or in tents whose homes are still technically standing, but they're not sure whether or not they're safe enough uh, to go back to. So that's a big question. Once that question has been resolved, uh, we're hoping uh, that maybe places like supermarkets can open again, um, you know, more than that regular life can can kind of start. At least people can can open back their, their cafes or their restaurants so that people can get more access to food, uh, water, uh, toilet points as well. That's another major factor here. There are virtually none. Everything has uh, been destroyed. So that's a, a really important issue, obviously, uh, for people who are who are homeless. Um, but, uh, but those questions questions are, are very thorny. And in fact, the uh, president, Erdogan, he came to power just uh, a few years after the last major earthquake that Turkey saw in 1999. And one of the first things he's did, he did when he came to power was that he set in, uh, put in place a set of rules and regulations for construction to make sure that buildings that are built uh, from that point on uh, are uh, earth uh, earthquake safe. And yet, as we're seeing, that is not the case. So uh, an investigation has been promised and even uh, investigations into uh, architects and, uh, and uh, uh, building designers uh, to see uh, where things have failed. And if uh, they must be, those individuals have to be prosecuted now uh, for basically breaking the rules uh, and, uh, and, and saying that a building is earthquake proof, even if it wasn't. Okay, our correspondent, Shona Batachara in southern Turkey. Uh, Shona, thanks so much.